Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. I'm down in my workshop, and the Solar Flux Index has been running uh, 74, 75 this week, so I thought I would see if I could find anything on shortwave. Um, not having too much luck, and I tried it initially on my Grundig Satellite 800, and... I could barely hear anything. Of course, conditions change rapidly, so you don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is something that I was playing around with this morning. And let me go to this page right here. Remember these radios that had these uh, band scales, dials? with the stations imprinted on the dial face. See if I can show you one close up. Like this one here. See there? So list is listed all the stations. Now of course those stations changed a lot, but not so much way back when these old radios came out. Well, I briefly showed you how you can get this same thing using SDR Uno. I want to show you again because I discovered something else. Now let's go to my SDR Uno. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this is a plugin produced by a gentleman by the name of Eric. And the plugin is called Fran. And I'll load the plugin. And then it wants a file of frequencies and information con about these broadcast stations. And originally when I showed you this, I did not have the database file that the program wants to use the most. Gets, gives you the most information. So what I did is, and then I'll show you. Go to file because you gotta look, you gotta load a database file. What it wants is one of these files, SWSKEDS. Now, um, where you get those, I'll show you next. Uh, go to here, and uh, this is in my way, so let me close that. Uh, right here. There is, I can't get rid of this thing. Let me close it. Um, this is a Google group, one of about of a hundred that I belong to. And this particular one is just about these schedules. And the gentleman, Dan Ferguson, periodically, at least once a month, updates the scheduled databases and he takes databases from AOKI and HFFC and probably EIBI and he combines them into one database uh, eliminating duplicates uh, taking out anything that may have gone away and he produces the schedule and the only way you can get this schedule is join this group, which is the SWSKEDS group at group.io. It's a Google group on the internet. So anyway, so he just came out with a new one, September 23rd. So I thought, well, this program, this plug-in, wants to use mainly one of these schedules. So if I go back, open this back up. Now SDR Uno works with RS SDR Play devices such as the S, uh, RSP DX, which is what I'm using right now, and there is an a add-on that will let it 
use other SDRs such as the uh, $25 SDR dongle. But, okay, anyway. So, I come up here now to plugins. And I want to load Fran again. Now, the, this is early, in early development. So, there's a couple of things that are a little quirky, like I can't get rid of this window. If I close it, even after I've loaded database, it, it removes the database and the information. So anyway, so you go to file, and like I say, it wants to use schedules, but it can also use banks, memory banks that you've created in SDR Uno. Well, when I did the show originally, that's what I used, but those memory banks don't have as much as info as much information as the SWSKEDS um, databases have. So let's go load that. Here's the one that just came out on the 23rd. We'll open that. Oops, got to click it again. Open it. So now. You can see this down here. Now, unfortunately, I got too many, too much stuff open, so let's close these options and then slide this up. It'll give make it a little bigger. I can make it even bit other. I can make it even more bigger if I close this and then slide it over there. So <clears throat> there is the information. Just like, let me go back. Just like this, except it's dynamic and it will change as that database is updated. So let me go back, open this back up. So there it is. Now, uh, it's important because there's so much information, it's important that you zoom in, which I'm pretty well zoomed in right now. I think I can zoom in maybe one more. Yeah, so now you can read it. Now, uh, I showed you this before using one of my memory banks, the EIBI data bank. And it showed you basically the same information. Of course, the data bank has different contents. This is as of September 23rd. So it shows you on this given frequency, <clears throat> excuse me, what stations should be broadcasting. And you'll notice this time it's color coded. And if you go to the README file of Fran, which is right here, I wish I could get rid of this, right here, <clears throat> down here, it tells you what the text colors mean. It tells you, it's saying the language that these broadcasts are being transmitted in. Now, that might vary from times of the day. So if we look down here, English is purple. So let's go back here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. So we got one station that's on this frequency and could be broadcasting in English. The other ones uh, are white. Now, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right because it's got a lot of white here. Uh, English is purple. White. I do not see white. So I wonder if white is signifying either it's not defined or they could be broad broadcasting in multiple language. That's my guess. So let's just try to see if you can hear one of these. <clears throat> so I may be able to hear Radio Martini. Let's turn it on, unmute it.
I'm a little bit off frequency. Whoop. No. Wants to be here. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is Radio Martini because it's not too far from me. It's about 800 miles. And they broadcast in different languages, depending on time of day. So that's what I wanted to show you, <clears throat> even though I'm losing my voice. I apologize for that. I wish this window would go away. I can put it up here because I typically don't look at this window. So you can scan the bands. Let me just go, out, go up slowly. So you can't see much there. I can hear something. Let's go up. Okay, there's something down there. There we go. So, I'm guessing, let me uh, mute this. I'm guessing this is probably HCJB. Again, that's one station I can receive. I, I can't believe, yeah, I can, that the shortwave band is still poor, even though the solar flux index now is in the mid-70s. Of course, we want it above 100, so it's got a long ways to go. But anyway, I wanted to show you this option, this plug-in called Fran. Um, it's been out for at least a month that I know of. I'm hoping that the uh, gentleman, Eric, who came up with this plug-in will continue to improve it, um, get rid of this window. I'll show you. If I close this window to get out of my way. Oh, it's gone. Plug in. The plug in is not running anymore, of course. So if you know, like maybe uh, Mike is watching from the SDR Play Company, if you know a way to fix that problem, I'd appreciate it. Maybe even Eric might be watching my show. I kind of doubt it. Uh, I really, really like this plug-in, but I wish I could get rid of that window that pops up. That Once you open that window and you select a file, you shouldn't need that window anymore. So it should go away, but it doesn't. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.